This video here is all about setting up your template for your consulting business and uh, we just want to run through some you know some quick things here on uh, the best way to set it up. Uh, what you want to know first is there are no sidebars in this WordPress theme. It is totally disabled. There's no way to add a sidebar because we don't want sidebars in this. We want everything clean and easy to read for any potential customers. The uh, theme itself is uh, pretty basic. You add a few images to, add, to spice it up a little bit and uh, it really drives the point home by uh, you know just pointing to these people over here saying hey uh, these people are looking for what you have to offer but you aren't ranking and uh, showing a little chunk taken out of the keyword section here we're not showing the keywords but we're showing low competition and massive volume for searches in here just to uh, kinda drill that home. Uh, one of the things here is it's going to be a very brief page. All you're going to have is your home, which is this page that they first land on. Your services page are about us and your contact us and feel free to take the content from our site and just uh, edit it to suit your actual consulting business. You know, obviously we don't want to have Saratoga, New York search engine optimization in uh, somebody that's doing something in Utah. So just make sure you change that all around if you want to use the uh, text that we have on this page I would suggest that you rewrite it a little bit um, it's nothing uh, spectacular it doesn't have to be it just has to point out what you actually do what you are all about uh, inside the uh, WordPress dashboard uh, actually we're running WordPress 3.0 in here now because the upgrade came out um, what you want to do is actually first you want to go through and obviously upload your theme which is very simple to do uh, in in WordPress now you just go to uh, appearance and uh, install themes and then you click upload and you will use this browse button just to uh, find the zip file that's included with the uh, package and go ahead and hit install now and then your theme will be up and running now one of the things about the theme is that if you notice we have some pages here like contact us terms of service trademarks privacy policy the theme is already set up to use those exactly as they are spelled so if you go through and actually make pages because you're not going to be making posts on this blog they're going to be no posts on this blog everything is going to be pages um, if you go through and you uh, title your pages with those specific titles then the footer links will already work the only thing you'll have to do is actually go into appearance go into footer and just click save changes because by default the footer will not appear until you do that so you have to again go to appearance and go to footer and click save changes and you'll notice here what happens is it fills in the URL of your blog and leaves the contact us and the terms of service links because by default if you name your terms of service page exactly like this terms of service uh, WordPress will automatically add a lowercase hyphenated version of it for the actual URL because what you're going to do when you first set up the page is go into settings once your blog is installed the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go into settings and go to permalinks and make sure that custom structure is, is uh, checked and you'll have forward slash percent sign post name percent sign forward slash and that will actually go ahead and make it so that uh, when people go to like like say for instance about us you know the about page is here it says about instead of uh, P question mark equals two you know it has a nice SEO friendly uh, URL there plugins that you'll want to uh, install on your blog which plugins are very easy a WP super cache is something that they've added to WordPress 3, 3 right now I had it disabled while I was setting up the blog but you can enable that after you have everything set up that's fine 
but anyway you want to add new plugins and the only thing that we want to add is all-in-one SEO pack contact form 7 exclude pages from navigations plugin and the really simple captcha and the way you'll do that is is pretty simple just go to plugins go to add new and uh, in here you can put exclude pages and search for the plugin and it's the first one that's listed and right now it says update now because I already have it installed it would not say update now for you it would actually say install so you would go ahead and install that you would go ahead and install contact 7 which you would just put contact 7 in the search and you would see contact 7 I think will be the second result like it is here it says it's installed already because it is installed on this blog but you would have the install option and you would go ahead and click that it'll take you to another page after you click install all you have to do is hit uh, activate on that page and uh, what happens is is we only want services about us contact us and home to be on the top menu the bottom menu will have contact us also but uh, terms of service trademarks and privacy policy will we want down here and the reason the the way that you're going to do that is all you have to do is go to uh, when you write your pages like for instance our terms of service which is uh, actually similar to a, a, a consulting contract. Um, you'll notice that exclude pages is listed here now. If I wanted it to show up in the first menu, in the top menu, I would go ahead and leave this checked. But we want the check mark out because we don't want it on the top menu. Um, the contact form is pretty much uh, and oh, also I should say notice how like I said we named it terms of service up here for the title of this page if you name it exactly like you see it on the footer of our sample page everything will work out fine as far as the footer goes now as far as uh, I do want to show you something on the images uh, when we go to our pages here and uh, let's look at the and that's another thing for your main page name it home so that the title always shows up as home um, but I'm gonna edit this for a second and I just want to show you something in here with the images that we have um, by default these images will have a border around them and it may not actually be visible in the editor but they will have a border and what you want to do is uh, actually click on it and then click on the little image editor, image uh, icon and go to settings and uh, advanced settings will have a spot in here to uh, set the border to zero and you put a zero in here after you actually go through and you hit update the border will no longer be there next time you come in it'll show that uh, you know that it has a uh, border set to zero see where it says border zero point none And obviously, when you're adding images, uh, we're not going to go through everything that there is about WordPress because most people that have been doing anything online know know how to install WordPress, etc. And uh, if you don't, uh, YouTube is full of videos, so it's uh, very easy to learn how to install WordPress quickly. But uh, if you wanted to, you know, you want to insert an image, they may not always line up exactly where you want them to and uh, for instance uh, I had my cursor right here in front of the SEO part when uh, I added that image and you can either select files from your computer or you can uh, after they've already been uploaded you can grab them right out of the gallery because they'll end up being in here afterwards and then all you do is hit show and uh, insert insert into post now this one right here we want to make sure that we have it set as left if you're gonna put it somewhere left of the text so that it actually puts it nicely around nicely here with the text so that 
if you look at the text on the main page, how it's nicely set over here and leaves the image right here. But that's really all there is to setting this up. You just have to make sure that you go through and, uh, you know, set your privacy policy, your terms of service, your trademarks, uh, links as not included in the main menu so that they do not show up here. Contact us can be included in both. And uh, that's really just about it for setting this up. The first steps, like I said, when you uh, start out with the, uh, once you have it installed, the first thing you're going to want to do is um, actually go to your settings and then go to permalinks. Make sure that this is set to post name, custom structure. Uh, you do want to check on, if you're on HostGator hosting, for instance, by default it has a habit of uh, setting your website up so that it's without the www. I would put it in if you're if yours is set up that way. Also for reading, the reading section you're going to want to set it as a static page and choose your front page as home, which will be the title of this page. And for uh, your settings for all-in-one SEO, just give yourself a uh, you know, a title up here for what your site is mainly about and give it a decent description because this description more than more than likely will end up in the uh, Google SERPs. For instance, uh, I'll just put Saratoga SEO. Saratoga New York Search Engine Optimization Specialist. We will get you ranking for local search queries that will drive new customers to your business. Okay, and if you notice in uh, the uh, all-in-one SEO settings, it's exactly what I have here. So we want it to appear the way we want it to appear in the search engine. That's the best way to do it. Because then your description meta tag will actually have this in it, and that's what Google will go by uh, in most cases for your information underneath the link. You just want to make sure that when people look at that link and they see it, that's a, people don't realize how big of a uh, a thing that is on actually getting people to click through. When they, a lot of people read that little snippet underneath, and if it doesn't sound like exactly what they're looking what they're looking for, then they look at the next link down below. So we want to make sure that it's what they're looking for. Um, in most cases, you will be uh, driving traffic, obviously, by uh, or obtaining customers by contacting them directly. But um, you know, it doesn't hurt to actually rank for your local area yourself, and uh, obviously obtain more customers the easy way. So that's it for this video. Uh, really, nothing to it. It's a, a basically a pretty simple process of getting this site up, and. Uh, Good luck with your uh, new business.